This stuff looks, um, I know it's good. I've had it before. It says, season to taste, six individual packets of seasoning, two pounds of ground beef, one eight ounce can of tomato sauce, two cups of water, uh, salt's optional. Okay, make it your own by adding one or more of the following. Chopped onion, green peppers, kidney beans, pinto beans, diced tomatoes. Darn it. Got the diced tomatoes. Uh, top it off with shredded cheese or sour cream. Sweetness, huh? I'm feeling like I probably should take this down too. Hasn't been down in a couple days. Alright, I want the I want the light. It'll be soon enough. It's gonna be dark out. Yeah, there we go. All right, I managed to find a can of crushed tomatoes, twice the amount I need, but um, I'll either use those all in there anyway, because I don't really follow the recipe, or I'll just save some and use them for something else. We're running out of daylight here, so I think we gotta get this started here. Not that we can't do it in the darkness, or once the sun goes down. Ground beef. Brown it. Brown the ground. All right, we're gonna do that. We're gonna be using the new Dutch oven, folks. New Dutch oven today. All right, I don't know if you're supposed to do this or not, but we are going to spray the pan, or spray the pot a little bit, and we are going to brown the beef. First step. Why not cook up some uh, uh, chili man jack style out of the box that's right there we go. that's done so we're gonna let that brown for a little bit this is drain the fat and then after that add the following add the tomato sauce two cups of water okay let me forget the right thing All right, this is my life, man. Um, I don't ever follow directions. I can remember when I was a kid, and you know, I'd get maybe a model for a birthday, Christmas. I would never look at the directions, and uh, it would come out looking nothing like what it was supposed to look like. Anyway, I didn't get, haven't learned anything, and I didn't follow the directions for this. And it appears that I was supposed to have gotten uh, tomato sauce, not tomato paste. So here's my idea. I'm not going to use the tomato paste. But I figure twice the amount of diced tomatoes or crushed tomatoes will be equal to this tomato saucy thing that I'm supposed to have. I've got a plan in mind here. And first step is, oh man, I put that right there. Is to get this turkey cooking. It's a noisy burner, isn't it? Farberware. Fiberware comes with its own white noise. All right, man, it's looking like the turkey is cooked up. Okay, now we are going to do this tomato sauce thing, which is the, for me, it's the crushed tomatoes too. All right, it says you're supposed to empty out the, uh, the hamburger juice, but we don't have any, so. Because we're cooking with 99% fat-free turkey. There's really no grease. All right, this is different, but it's gonna work. Dumping that in there. Oh yeah, baby. No problem.
what usually happens is uh, it comes out quite interesting as far as chili goes. Um, let's see, we got that. Two cups of water. I'm not doing that because I'm going to keep the water from these in there. So, um, seasoning packets except for labeled. I think I should just add all this. You know what? I'm just going to do it my way. That's always worked. <laughs> just like it did for those models, right? When I was a kid. Let's go to town, man. Turn the heat down. Okay, we're putting in some uh, onion and garlic right now. But this stuff is really convenient if you're in an RV, right? I mean, you don't want it to, uh, you can't make home cooked meals or it's not easy to. So if you can get some decent prepackaged stuff, go for it. All right, what's this? Cumin and oregano. Let's put this, oh, it's already starting to smell good, man. Oh, baby, woo! We're getting down, man. Cold weather cooking. You know, there's something about it. When it's just too cold to go outside, you just gotta start getting down in the kitchen. Paprika. Paprika. Mmm. And finally, folks, we have a big helping of chili pepper. That's probably why they call it chili. Isn't it funny that you make chili? It's really good on chili days. Maybe that has something to do with it, too. I don't know. That's a lot of spices, man. Now we're gonna start throwing in the jack stuff that doesn't, you know. Just kinda add what I wanna add here. All right. This is kidney beans. And I'm not dumping the water, man. I'm just gonna use what they've got in there. Probably you guys are like, that's gross, man. You should have dumped that and rinsed it. Nah, that's all right. You can use it. It works fine. It's got some salt in it and everything else, and it's got it's got a taste. I like it. We really need to get ourselves a. Okay. We're gonna use this for the put our spoon in here. All right. What do you guys think? Another can of yeah. I think we should do two cans two cans of kidney beans. Coming up. It's already smelling, already smelling like the holidays in here. Whatever that means. Once again, we leave that water in there. Break out the all-purpose toilet paper. We use this from, for everything. For what it was intended to be used for, or anything else under the sun, to get something clean. This is fun. I should have been a chef, man. I could have been a chef. <laughs> I'm throwing black beans in with that too. This is a meal we want to last us for many moons, man. Not many moons, but... Oh, boy. We are getting crazy now. Okay, now folks, we're gonna let that simmer for quite some time, longer than it's supposed to probably. And uh, we'll add in those final ingredients, but you know what? Already looks like chili to me. And it smells like it. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. That's gonna be good. That's gonna be real good. Probably should cut up some onion too, right? Alright, man. Woo! I'm gonna get this fan going.
Sometimes I get the fan going by banging on that like Fonzie, but I guess I don't have any Fonzie in me today, so that's not working out. I know I'm seriously dating myself when I say Fonz, Fonzie. Used to have a poster of him on my wall when I was a kid. Hey! You guys remember that stuff, right? Thumbs up for the Fonz. He's like 80 now or maybe older. What do you guys think about this life, man? It's crazy, huh? It is just flying by and now we're in an interesting time in all of our lives where... Yeah, man. We certainly are living through some times that people will remember forever and ever. Those that come to the planet in the future. These times will not be forgotten. That's for sure. Wow. That's good. Mm. I'm the only one that eats this so I can lick the spoon. It's all right. Oh man, I'm gonna start crying now. Whew. Let me get some fresh air in here. Mm. Man. All right, I just added the uh, masa powder. I said to mix it with warm water, but you know, I'm not going to. This makes the chick, the chick, the uh, chili thicker. So see, that's already disappeared into there, and I'm sure it's going to be fine. There's plenty of water in there already. Okay, folks, final ingredient is some red pepper. This is something that you don't have to add because this is hot. But baby, I want it hot. This is two alarm chili. And uh, that's how we want it to be. We want the alarms to be going off. There, the final packet has been added. There's nothing left to do but put it on simmer and let it do its thing, man. I would say that this is this is some a good good idea to, to make a, a meal like this on a day like today. Absolutely perfect. My windows are all steamed up now. And my hair is standing on end. And uh I'm kind of looking for, I'm not kind of, I'm looking real forward to this, to this dinner. If I don't get full picking away at it in the meantime. All right, man, we'll check back in in a little bit. Um, I'm really happy with my, with my new pot here. All right, guys, dinner is done. <laughs> you know what? I just picked at it the whole time, so I never actually filled my plate up with it. I made myself a bowl of chili. And, it's, and it came out great, and I'm stuffed, and uh, I'm going to um, get ready to go to bed here pretty soon. That was a fun day today. Made some chili and uh, kept warm while it was chilly outside. Alright guys, peace man. Have a good night.